Hey what's going on everyone this is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 20 must have iOS 13 shortcuts for 2020. These are several shortcuts that are actually very very useful and they will help you a ton on the daily use of your iPhone in 2020. Kicking things off with dictate to notes. Now this shortcut will allow you to quickly create a note simply by dictating anything you want. So you just run the shortcut and dictate anything you want to save as a note. This is a test note. You tap the stop button and that's it. This has been saved as a note on the notes app. And if we go to the notes app, you can see now it has been saved as a note and it will have the time of the note as the title of that note. Alarms with intervals is very interesting and very useful at the same time. It allows you to set a ton of alarms at the same time. So you run the shortcut and you set up the first alarm. You choose the clock right there and then it will ask you how many alarms you want to set. Let's choose nine here click OK and then you can see here it will set 9 alarms with a time interval of 5 minutes. So if one alarm or two doesn't get the job done then you can set up as many alarms as you want using this shortcut. Reverse image search allows you to search for any image that you want. Once you have an image maybe on your camera roll and you want to search for that on the internet, you just copy that image and run the shortcut and then it will search for that image on Google. So basically it will find that image or images that are similar to that one. So you can see right here, it did find the exact image that I had copied on the clipboard of my iPhone. Combine images allows you to combine images in a few different ways. You can do that vertically, horizontally or on a grid view. You just run the shortcut and pick up the pictures that you want to use. Once you have done that, you can set up here the spacing between images. So let's just set there at 12. It will be basically the line that will separate the images and then you can choose here how you want to set them up side by side, horizontally, vertically or on a grid view. So let's choose here horizontal and let's see the result. Here we have two images that it did combine. So you can choose as many pictures as you want and combine them into one. I can click there to share or you can click done and you can go ahead and click OK to save it under the camera roll. Make Wi-Fi QR code allows to create a QR code for your wireless network if you want to share it one time with someone. So you just run the shortcut and you will be able here to set the name of your network. So enter the name of the current network that you're logged in and also its passcode on the next step. On the second step, you will need to enter the passcode of your network. And then here you need to choose what kind of network you have and there you go you will have the QR code created here and if you want to share your network with someone you can do that using this QR code. Media Kit iPhones Mockup allows you to create mockups of iPhones using your screenshots. So if you want to share a screenshot somewhere but you want it to look better you can put it on an iPhone frame. So you run the shortcut here and you go ahead and tap on create mockup. From here you can go ahead and choose whichever of these devices you want to use and then of course choose the picture from the media library of your iPhone. So let's just choose iPhone 11 Pro and then the next step will be the step that allows the create to basically choose a picture from your camera roll. Once you have done that you will have it here created so tap on generate mockup and you will have that created with your basically screenshot or whatever you have saved under the camera roll. And you can see right here it has been created. Now just tap and hold there and you will be able to save it under the camera roll of your device. Live photos to Instagram stories allows you to quickly share any of your live photos as a video on Instagram stories. So it will basically convert it into a video in just seconds. So all you have to do is just run the shortcut and choose any of your live pictures. And once you have done that, it will take you directly to Instagram. You just go ahead, go to your stories and post the last one, which is on your camera roll, which will be the video that has been taken out of that live picture. As you can see right here I did select that and now it's a video instead of a live picture. Now if you try to share it as a live photo directly from Instagram without running the shortcut it will just share it as a simple picture. The next one is called Instagram story camera. Now this one will be very useful especially if you're using it 
from the widgets panel on your iPhone, which will allow you to launch it directly from the lock screen without having to even go on your iPhone. So you want to quickly record something or take a picture to share to your stories. You will have that on the widget. You just tap right there and it will automatically go to the camera on the Instagram stories. The next shortcut for the video is called add to home screen and this one is really interesting. So you know that you can basically add any link you want to your home screen so you can easier go ahead and launch it from there. With this shortcut you can choose the icon to be any picture you want or any app icon that you want. So it's really interesting here I will put apple.com on the home screen of my device. Just tap the share button and just go ahead and choose here add to home screen. Not the first one this one right here which will be of course the shortcut now i can choose an icon from the photos that i have saved or i can choose one from the app store so if i go there i can basically just search for any app so let's search for instagram so if we search for instagram right there you can see it will find the apps and i can tap right there and now it will use the icon of instagram as the icon of this link so now what i have to do is tap the share button again and tap add to home now the first one not the second click add and here i will have that link on the home screen of my device using the instagram icon so you can basically choose any picture or any icon of any app on the app store the next one is very simple yet very useful. It's called Wi-Fi Toggle. This one will completely turn off Wi-Fi when you tap on it. So just like that, Wi-Fi has been turned off. With iOS 13, if you do that from the control center, it will just disable Wi-Fi. It will basically just disconnect, not completely turn it off. But with this shortcut, you will have the chance here to turn it off and on directly from the widgets panel. Resize image allows us to resize any image. You can make it smaller or bigger. Now all you have to do is just run the shortcut and select any image that you have under the camera roll. Once you have done that, you will have here the option to make it 2x, so two times bigger, or just make it at 50% of its current size or 25%, or you can go ahead and enter here a custom percentage. So let's just go here with 20, and now it will be resized and will be much, much smaller. So you can see here the original size and the resized right there. If you click OK, it will show you a preview of the image here. You can, of course, go ahead and share it from there. You can take a look at it or just tap done here. And you can choose here if you want to save it, if you want to share it or just copy it to the clipboard. Exif photo details will show you detailed informations regarding any picture that you have under the camera roll. So just run it and choose any of your pictures. And once you have done that, it will show you all the details you need to know regarding that picture. So here we'll have everything you need to know from the photo type to the media type, date it was taken, creation date, last modified, you will see here all the image data, all the different data that you need to know regarding this picture. Now from here, you can also go ahead and save this. So if you want to save this report, you can go ahead and save it to files or you can go ahead and share it. Convert Live to GIF allows you to convert any of your live pictures into GIF. It's pretty simply used. You just run the shortcut and select any live picture that you have. And once you have done that, you can see now you will have it saved as a GIF file. So from here, you can tap the share button from where you can, of course, share it or save it as an image or just click done. And then you will have the option here to save it to photos. Get GIF allows you to find GIFs on the internet very easily. All you have to do is just run it and just search for anything you want. So let's just search for NBA here, click done, click done right there. And as you can see right now, it will find all kind of different GIFs. And I can go ahead and just tap on one of them. And it will be copied on the clipboard of my iPhone. And of course, I can use it anywhere I want. Speedy Translate allows to quickly translate anything that you have copied on the clipboard. You just run it and you can go ahead and enter text here or if you don't want to enter anything, it will just show you whatever you have copied on the clipboard. You click OK and you can choose here to what language you want to actually translate that. So just choose French here, click done and now we're good to go. It has copied to the clipboard the text that it did translate. So if I go here to the notes, and paste that, you will see that we have the translated text. 
Change auto lock time allows you to quickly change the auto lock time of your iPhone. You just run the shortcut and from here you can choose if you want to get a notification after 30 minutes to basically set back the time to whatever you had before. You can, you can choose yes or no here and it will take you directly to the auto lock settings from where you can choose the auto lock time for your device. PDF is a shortcut that allows you to create PDF out of your camera so you just run the shortcut and you will have the ability here to choose like how many pdfs you want to create so how many pages actually you want to create so if you have like a document with five pages you choose five here click ok and then it will go to your camera and you can change basically set here basically take five pictures and they will be saved as pages of a pdf file so you can see here we're good to go we take five pictures and now that's a pdf five with five pictures and it will be saved on the files app so let's just wait for this process to finish here let's set test here as the name click ok and we're good to go now let's go to the files app and find that pdf so if we go to the files app go to the icloud drive and go right here to the shortcuts you can see that we have here test this is the pdf that we did just create right here and you can see now it has five pages now, of course i just took random pictures there but if you're taking pictures of documents you can easily turn them into pdf files with this shortcut Next up is network stuff. Now this shortcut allows you to check your network local IP. You can check your network speed, ping the network and all that stuff. So you can share a password via QR code. You can set a ping test here or a speed test for your network. So basically most of the tools that you need for your network can be found in this one shortcut. And last but not least is extract PDF pages. Now this one is very useful. It allows you to extract any page you want from a PDF file. So if you have like a PDF file with a hundred pages, you can extract one of them or even more, as many as you want. Just run the shortcut and choose the PDF file. Once you have chosen the PDF file, from here you can go ahead and choose a few pages and you can choose which of the pages you want to extract click done and now you're good to go you will have just those two pages you can see right here i have just two pages now i can of course even go ahead and save them any way i like so that is it for this video guys these are 20 must have ios 13 shortcuts for 2020 if you're interested on downloading any one of these make sure to check out the pinned comment you will find there all the links you need thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one